State officials tell me they're hiring hundreds of people to help all the people who have lost their jobs, trying to fix the state's unemployment website, which has had problems from almost the moment it went online. And I'm just frustrated. And the phone lines, forget it. Jamie Cottonwall has been trying for two days to get unemployment benefits from the state after losing his job when restaurants started shutting down. But he, like many others that we've talked to, is hitting the roadblock. The state's Connect website keeps kicking me out of the system. I've been at it all day yesterday for about five hours. I got fed up with it and got tied up. I think the server is just overloaded. He's tried calling. You call the phone line, I'll do it right now. He showed me how he puts in his information, but then gets caught in a recorded loop. All of our phone lines are busy, and we are unable to offer a callback option at this time. So what do you do? That dumps out and tells him to go to the website. Wesh 2 has been asking the State Department of Economic Opportunity for answers, and last night they told me they've contracted a tech support company to add 250 call center workers, many of whom will be tasked with resetting pins. DEO itself is also also trying to hire 50 more people. As for the Connect website itself, DEO claims it's made technical enhancements to increase capacity and serve more people at once. It's not clear if that will be enough to handle it all. Last week, over 222,000 people managed to file for unemployment, 21,000 more just on Sunday. The Connect site has a long history of problems. When it launched in 2013 during Rick Scott's time as governor, many people reported the same problems that we're seeing today. Now, back at that time, the state blamed the company that built the website, but said later that the problems had been fixed. Bob Hazen, West 2 News.